We know the lungs are vital to breathing and necessary for life. We can learn more about how lungs work by using simple materials from around your house. STEM NOLA joins us this morning with an easy to do experiment showcasing the inner workings of the human lungs. Sonia Landry, an 11th grader from Thomas Jefferson Academy and STEM NOLA staff member Jakara Bacchus join us to show us how it is done. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Okay, so this can be a very complicated process to learn if you're just learning about the respiratory system, but this experiment kind of makes it easier to understand. Um, tell me about the respiratory system um, and, and you know what these pieces represent. Okay, uh, these pieces represent the respiratory system. Right here we have your lungs, obviously. Um, here we have our nose and our, and our mouth. Um, here what we have is our trachea essentially and these tiny things down here are our bronchioles and we have our uh, air lungs, mm -hmm. lungs too. Um, we also have these pipe cleaners which represent our alveoli. Okay, and these are all necessary for the respiratory system and allow us to breathe in oxygen. Yes. Okay, and you're gonna show us how this uh, demonstration uh, shows us that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's the first thing? Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna get our lungs cut out and we're gonna cut them out. And we also have our mouth and nose cut out and we're gonna have those cut out as well. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our pipe cleaner, which represents our alveoli, and we are going to get our tape and tape it on there, and in the end it should look like this. What is the, what, what is the alveoli? Uh, the alveoli are tiny air sacs in your lungs that help, well, when you inhale, it helps you bring in oxygen, and when you exhale, it helps get rid of carbon dioxide. Very nice. Okay, so then you tape everything down, like we see here um, on the lungs, and then it eventually looks like this, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And to get like that, we tape our two plastic straws together, and we separate the bottom of the straws to put little baggies on there, mm -hmm. and we tape it to our popsicle stick. Then afterwards, we take our lungs cut out and our alveoli, our mouth and nose cut out, and we tape it on to the popsicle stick, making it look like this. It really does look <laughs> like the lungs. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they inflate too to kind of show the whole process. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale and exhale with the uh, straws, put our mouth on it, and it looks like this. <laughs> Whoa, I love that. Oh, look, you, okay, so you mimic the breathing of how, it, how your lungs actually work. This is so cool. Uh, tell us, Sanaya, what you love about being part of the STEM program. Uh, what I love about being part of the STEM program is that it, it really helped me get more out of my comfort zone, and it also helped me go out into the world and realize that there's a lot more things that we don't know about and that we can experience later on. I love that, and especially with hands-on activities, this is so cool. And, and tell us about the fellow program that it kind of helps make things even better for our students. Yeah, absolutely. So Sanaya, she's a part of our STEM NOLA Fellows Program, which is a high school program. So of course, STEM NOLA engages grades K through 12, but our STEM Fellows Program is specific to our high school students. And so we take them outside of the classroom and give them a hands-on immersive experience such as this, but inside different com companies and organizations that are related to that topic, such as respiratory systems and lungs. So for example, next weekend, we will be at Auctioner um, exploring the respiratory therapy and respiratory system. How cool is that? Yeah. Taking, getting out of the classroom versus, you know, seeing this on, in a textbook. Exactly. And then you can actually go hands on and see it being used in real life. Yeah, and then we're also using simulation labs and simulation robots to also simulate these type of um, circumstances and um, experiences that doctors have to go by on a daily basis. That's so cool. And Sanaya, yeah. we're almost out of time, but I want to ask yeah. you, um, as an 11th grader, are you looking at maybe going into a STEM-related um, career yeah. when, you, when you finish high school? Uh, yes. Uh, through STEM fellows also, it helped me realize what I wanted to go through in a later life. I was thinking of industrial and These guys oh, oh, make oh, watch stuff. That's perfect. That's <laughs> perfect. Thanks so much for being here and, and teaching me the uh, respiratory system. It's been quite a long time since <laughs> I went down all the working parts of that. But thanks again for being here. And Thank, good you. Luck. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right, time now.